Hey there boys and girls, it's Gilfig here and today I'll be doing a little let's play of Sniper Elite V2 so um, I wasn't able to get any feedback of you whether you want it or not so just leave a comment below if I should continue this series and uh, this let's play stuff of Sniper Elite um, I'm the battlefield stuff will still be the main thing of the channel but if you like the Sniper Elite stuff then just let me know in the comments below and yeah I'd say let's get it started and at first um, right here you were able to kind of check my settings so I put all to ultra I got the max settings and 1080p so the full HD I never played the demo but I'm going to start a game on Sniper lead, so the hardest of all, I guess. Maybe some custom things might be harder, but yeah. So, let's get it started and we will check out this little video in the beginning. Hitler's war machine, once unstoppable, was now on the retreat. The Allies in the West and Russia in the East were squeezing the tattered remnants of the Reich in a vice-like grip. Germany's last hope lay in their wonder weapons. The V-2 rocket, a huge leap forward in the history of military technology. It was a weapon system to herald a new form of warfare. Inhuman. Faster than the speed of sound, it struck without warning. The Nazis launched over 3,000 rockets in a desperate attempt to reverse history. It was a terror weapon. Pummeling Antwerp, Paris, and London. After the D-Day landings, their launch sites were overrun and pushed back out of range of England. But already, the Allies were looking to the future, to the next war. The Americans were gathering up the best of Germany's rocket scientists in the top secret operation Overcast. Many of the architects of the V-2 program had already been acquired, but not all. With Berlin encircled, Germany's last ditch defense falling back block by block and total defeat only days away. Those scientists remaining in the city would soon be in Russian hands. My job was to make sure that didn't happen. Major General Hans von Eisenberg was negotiating in secret for safe passage for his team. Five of the V-2 program's top men. He was meeting his Russian handler at the Brandenburg Gate. This was my chance to take him out before he could seal the deal. I was prepared, focused, confident. Little did I know it would turn out to be the most difficult mission I'd ever undertaken. So this was the little intro of Sniper Elite V-2. And um, by the way, this is the German version, so we have not a complete full X-ray. We still have the slow-mo effects, but we won't see any crushed bones or stuff, so I'm sorry for that. I also wanted to start this yesterday, but uh, I had some problems with Steam and the German version, and yes. Okay, so, at first we have a some kind of tutorial, so it says how you should use your binoculars and zoom in, zoom out. <coughs> and use the mouse to look around. By the way, this is like no real let's play because I recorded the gameplay footage and I'm practically commentating over it right now, so it's not like a live com. I can do this with uh, following parts, but I just have recorded the beginning of the game and will commentate like this um, until I can go on like with the live stuff if you want me to continue the series. So. Um, w, ASD to move, pretty basic stuff right here. So um, what I really liked about um, Sniper Lead, it's, it's designed to be something like a sniper simulator or something. So you have the actual bullet drop and also you have to be uh, pay attention to the wind and stuff. And yeah. That's pretty cool. I also saw um, enemy snipers will have some scope glint. So that's pretty cool too. You also have lots of equipments like right here the trip mine. So you can basically just right here in the tutor uh, tutorial you have to stick one end uh, 
right there and the other hand right here and then you have basically some kind of backup if enemies will come from behind. You also have like some uh, rocks or stones you can throw to uh, to distract the enemies and you also got like mines which we will see just in a few seconds. Oh by the way you will crouch on C and if you want to go prone you have to hold crouch so um, I guess there's like no uh, option in the control menu section thing where you can actually put a button to use the prone stuff but it works pretty good like this too and you will also not often use the prone because the crouch is uh, most of the time better. So right here we will see the uh, ability or the equipment stuff with the rock to throw and distract the enemies. So right here you I guess you're switching with X and Y or with Z, I don't know. And then you can basically like right here. Oh, oh I failed. Okay, um second attempt on the car. Now it worked. So you want to use your equipment as much and as often as possible. So um, another thing, you also have sidearms, like you always have your Thompson with you, at least as uh, from my point of view, from the stuff I al I've already played. Um, but you only, only have one magazine, so only 30 bullets. And then you have a pistol, a silenced pistol. But uh, with the pistol in Thompson you can't aim properly, so it's still kind some kind of hip fire because the crosshairs are, are like really spread, uh, like really widespread, and it makes it really hard to to pro uh, to aim properly. So um, we also have the ability to use cover with Q, so you'll basically snap on to the next best thing around and use it as a as cover and right here we can see I'm using the Valrod that's the silent pistol and you only able to aim like this so you can't uh, actually use the iron sights. Right here another important thing um, you can use mines to booby trap the dead bodies of the enemies so you have like you can play really smart and uh, get your advantage out of it because if the enemies will see a dead soldier, they will run to him and so oh, uh, man down, and then they will run into the uh, into the mine and blow up. And yeah, it's pretty good. Um, something else uh, on space, you will vault and climb, but from my experience, you have to kind of stop pressing W to move forward, so you have to stand still. It's not. It, I think it's not working how it is designed to be. So right here will be the the end, or pretty much the end, of the first mission. And I, gu I guess I have the first mission in two parts, so you won't see Von the full first mission. Punctual. Oh, he's he made talking. no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. Clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. The square was well sheltered, so there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim, and then shoot. So right here, our first kill with the sniper rifle. Then the X-ray kill cam. I think I hit his heart. Yes, a vital hit is always the heart, and um, then a normal kill will be anywhere, and then you'll also get a headshot like right here. You also have to, like you've seen, to compensate for the bullet drop, and on the left side you will see the bumps per minute of your heart. So if you get shot or if you run, you will have a higher number of those bumps which will increase your scopes way and also uh, will make it 
much more harder to use E to focus and kind of get a clear shot. So this is already the ending of part one. So just tell me in the comments below if you want to, if you want me to continue the series, and if you like the Sniper Elite game. I also could do some tutorials or just regular gameplay stuff and also multiplayer gameplay stuff. So just leave a comment, and let me know, and like Skillfaker out.